university how to get a university rank so this video is not focusing only on the students who are studying in an university this video is focusing the people who are studying in any university it can be an university it can be anamala university it can be any university so in this video covers the uh, tips that would help the students to get a university rank many people ask me to take a video regarding the uh, university rank actually i have studied uh, engineering Uh, in 2011 uh, i have started engineering in 2011 so it continued for four years i completed my engineering in 2015 so i have studied in uh, csc department uh, csc csc computer science of engineering so i have i am one of the university rank holders i got 12th university rank so i am going to share my experience with you so that it would be very useful for those people who are very eager to get a university rank basically it's not a marathon because it's a 100 meter sorry it's not a 100 meter race it's a marathon so the, if you are studying in engineering there would be eight semesters so each semester you need to perform well in each semester if suppose if you have done well in one semester and if you have been done well in another semester then your cgpa would go down so it's mandatory that you need to perform very well in each semester so that's why it states that it's not it's a marathon it's not a 100 meter race you can't get a university rank by performing well in only one semester you need to perform well in all the semesters and then you need to learn from scatches is for example if suppose if you are studying one subject there are some people uh, i have seen some people that they will uh, just follow the important topics and they will they and they will just memorize the important topics and their contents and they will try to report the same thing during examinations that's the wrong way of preparing we need to learn from scratch we need to learn why this formula came and what are the reasons and what are the consequences if we if we skip this formula and we need to relate how this subject would be very helpful for our career like that if suppose if we study a subject like that then that would be very helpful for our examination and also for our career and then do well in internal exams if suppose if you are studying nana university then internal exams are the must that would be conducted by the our respected colleges we need to perform well in our internal exams that would be the initial part where we will get more exposure to the semester exam if suppose if you have done very well in internal exam that gives us uh, good confidence to face the semester exam there are some colleges would conduct uh, two to three internal exams for a semester some colleges would conduct three to four internal exams so it can be any number we need to perform very well in the internal exams it could be the very good start for our semester exams and at, uh, in anna university internal exam marks also be considered for calculating cgpa when i was studying i have done well very well in the internal exams that's why i got university rank so people who are studying in anna university please try to do well in internal exams also because that marks also would be considered in cgpa i don't know about the current curriculum at that time when i was studying internal exam marks also considered for calculating the cgpa for now i don't to have much exposure to the current curriculum so please try to correct me if i have done any wrong in this video and then give more importance for practical exam so i have seen many people i have seen many friends they give, they will take the practical exams are granted they will think that uh, practical practical exam we need to pre, we need to prepare for our, we need it we need not prepare pre for practical exam so that would be kind of the, the, the marks would be automatically come but that's not the correct way because practical exams are the gateway for our career we need to do well in practical exam if you have more if you have good knowledge in practical exams then we can easily clear any interview because our practical exams are the gateway the uh, interviews mostly are uh, focus on the practical questions so we need to be very mature while uh, solving the practical papers so we need to give more importance to practical exams uh, similar to the theory papers and then work out more practical questions if suppose if you are studying one subject that subject would contain both theory 
uh, as well as uh, problem problems we need to give more focus to the practical questions we need to ask the question why this problem needs to be solved in this way why can't we solve in another way like that if we have if we co- ask questions to ourselves then we get more answers and we get more exposure to that question and then we will get more exposure to that subject and we will get more marks and eventually we will get placed in a good reputed company and then if suppose if you are do if you are studying in a nine university affiliated colleges are in a nine university then two marks is the must that would be the party we need to do very well in party because that would be the initial uh, things that a uh, exam evaluator will look if we have done very good in two marks then evaluator would have very good impression on us then they will try to uh, give more marks for the part b questions and then try to explain with the examples for part b and part c questions when i was studying there would be there are uh, there would be 5 16 mark question current in the current curriculum the part b is converted to part b and part c so 16 mark questions have been converted to 13 marks and 15 mark questions so you need to way, do very well in the part uh, b and part c question you need to explain with examples you need to explain with real time examples if you explain with real time examples then examiner would have very good impression on you so they will try to give more marks for you for the questions for the answer sorry and then try to study from foreign authors books because the uh, foreign authors books is not the uh, are not written by foreigners it can be written by foreigners indians and uh, it can be written by your college staff also so foreign authors is a, some phrase that was used by the, that is used by the anna university for recommending the books so for each subject anna university would recommend some books so that would be considered as a foreign authors in some colleges so we will try to use the same phrase here also so we need to learn from foreign authors books because that book would was recommended by the anna university so the the questions for the examination also would be taken from that book so we need to give we need to study from that book so if you study from that books you will get more exposure to that subject and we can easily clear any question we can easily write answers for any question for that subject so these are the steps that i have followed when i was doing engineering that's the reason i got an initially 12th rank so this these te- if you follow these steps you would also you could you could also get an initially rank so you need to follow two things one is hard work and another one is smart work so hard work for studying the subject and smart work for writing the exam so all the best for the exams and for every week